Hey everybody, so today we've got something a little bit different. This is a uh, Skokin security lock from Skokin, Skokin Teaching Aids, and it's a uh, variety of wafer lock called a Chicago lock. You don't see these very often. Uh, this is a true double-sided wafer lock where each side has a different bidding, and so the key really only fits in one way. But when you do, insert it, turn 90 degrees, and pull. There we go. And the entire core will come out. Uh, and you'll notice it has these locking lugs that are set 90 degrees off from where the wafer packs are. And you'll see they're very dense in there. I'll bring out another wafer lock in a minute to show you the difference. And if you look in there, the inside is pretty bare and there's no tailpiece. Well the reason for that is that this is actually a collar or a cover for a standard uh, bolt or screw that fits in through that hole in the back and when the lock core is in place it stops someone from being able to use a screwdriver to remove that screw and makes it more difficult for whatever you have bolted to onto the other end of that screw to be removed. So, first we're going to see if we can try to pick it, then we're going to compare it to a few other examples here. So, we're going to stick it in, align the locking lugs, slide it in, turn 90 degrees to the lock position, and remove the key. So that lock core is in there right now, and if I take this tension tool here, you'll see it's it's got a fair amount of give, but that's pretty normal for a wafer lock. So the first tool we're going to try is this. This is the uh, Peterson Chicago Wafer Jiggler set, and it's these four uh, tools on a little uh, pin, so they fan out like this, and what you do is you select which one you're going to start with. I happen to know which one of these works best on this, but start it off like this, insert the two tines in here, and you hold it uh, kind of like this, and you wiggle it up and down as you push in and put slight rotational pressure on it. So let's just start off with number one to show you the process. Oh, look at that. And it turns. We turn to the unlock position and pull and then we can just reinsert and lock it back up. Now these work really great not just on Chicago uh, true uh, double-sided wafers but also uh, I think I showed you in my introduction to wafer videos this uh, lock. It's not an actual double-sided wafer lock because if you'll notice the key is symmetrical on each edge. It's really just a convenience key but uh, any sufficiently wide keyway that will admit these tools uh, in a wafer lock. They can get in there pretty well. Uh, now, so we've shown you a dedicated tool, now let's take a look at something that's a bit more likely to be in your everyday carry kit. Uh, a wishbone tension tool where it allows you to work a tool in uh, through the center of the tension uh, tool and a uh, Bogota style jiggler. And we're just going to go in here, wiggle it up and down. We're using this more like a jagged lifter or a uh, or a diamond kind of and we're doing what uh, Bosnian Bill calls uh, bitch picking which is just going in there and wiggling it up and down and trying to uh, hoping that you'll feel a few, feel or hear a couple of clicks. There's not a lot of finesse to this. You just want to make sure that you're not, you know, breaking anything or damaging your tools. Okay, there we go. We've got a, sounds like we set at least one or two uh, wafers there. And there's a couple more. And now we're going to try the other side, see if we get a couple more. Okay, there's some more clicks, and we're open. So, even if you don't have one of those wafer jigglers, a uh, tool like this 
uh, and a decent uh, wishbone tension tool will work just fine. Now, uh, unfortunately, I can't take this one apart because it's uh, riveted together, but I have this other standard uh, cam lock, which is also a wafer lock, and I'll show you how those normally fit together. You just take this screw that holds the tailpiece on off, and you can just slide the whole thing out. Now notice, compare these uh, wafer stacks to each other. This one is super dense. It's just one right next to the other, all sort of grinding together. Whereas this one, it's just five uh, wafers tucked into individual slots, and they're pretty widely spaced. So this one, very easy to use uh, sort of finesse techniques like single pin picking, uh, but it's very, very simple, and these tend to be so cheaply made that you really don't need to do that. You can just run uh, a snowman or a, a Bogota or really just about anything that will fit in there. You just bounce it around, and these will usually set. This one, the pins are so closely spaced, or the wafers rather, are so closely spaced that you can't use a standard flat tipped hook like I prefer. You need something that's kind of pointy and will allow you to manipulate each of these wafers individually. Or you just bounce the whole stack around because they can only change so much. And as you can see from the key, you know, they're usually going to be lifting more than one wafer into roughly the same position and the tolerances in here are not so tight that you can't uh, allow a couple of them to be off just a little bit. So, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, have fun and happy picking.